What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning, so come by and say hello. This video is also brought to you by two things. Since we don't do any sponsorships here on the channel, I'll show them out real quick. The first is my music, which is available anywhere you stream music under the name After Sound. And the second is a new podcast I just launched called Chasing Infinity. It is myself and ChatGPT as my AI co-host, and we dive into a wide range of topics in short form videos just like this. So go ahead, check it out. Let me know what you think. Links in the description below, and I appreciate the support. Okay, guys, I want to start a bit of a new series here. Since we only have one town hall per month, and there's a lot of things that are kind of like lingering from month to month, uh, or even things that, that pop up, it, to do a video pre-town hall, similar to what I do, like the five biggest takeaways, I want to do what are the three biggest questions that we have for the upcoming town hall for October of 2024. So obviously the town hall, I, I'm recording this literally 24 hours before the next town hall. I'll try to do it earlier for future months. Let me know if you like this format though, uh, and if it's something that you'd like uh, for, for me to do in the future, just to kind of gather things. So here are the three biggest questions. Again, this is not all encompassing. These are the, there's really just my questions in terms of like where we're at, although I think a lot of people will share that same sentiment. So you'll notice that land is not on here and that's for a very specific reason. I think we've covered most of the stuff with land already. Uh, you know, Cryptomancer uh, did the downhaul with Matt. They they went through the proposal. We know the rough time frame. We know what 1.75 is going to entail. So that seems like it's it's being worked on, right? It's, it's, it's being done. And so therefore, like I'm not listing it as a question. It's just something that we need to get to Q1. And hopefully, you know, in the future months, we'll start to, to get some updates or maybe we can include that. But um, let's go ahead and dive in. So number one, mini set or core set. Now, this is probably the biggest one for me because the mini set has not been ruled out yet. I mean, even in the recent down hall, right? Like we're not sure where Matt stands on this. Obviously, I, I think myself and many others have been pushing for moving towards the core set towards, uh, you know, for earlier next year rather than later next year. Uh, you know, if there is significant if there is significant sentiment to uh, have a mini set, I just I haven't really seen it yet, uh, and I think that a lot of the a lot of the the arguments that I put forth are rather valid in terms of bringing the next core set, rotating Chaos Legion out of modern format, and just kind of moving the game into its next general uh, phase. So my hope is that we do get some clarity on that, and really because it's not from let, let me put it this way. The timing standpoint is really just for the proposal. Like the proposals take two weeks, right? So the team would have to put forth a uh, a proposal for this and have the pre-proposal phase or the draft phase, um, and then of course have a uh, the 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 core phase or whatever it is the the full <laughs> proposal phase, right? Once any any and all changes are made, so. We're, we're sitting at you know mid-October right now. This would put us in November. I'm not necessarily worried about the development side of it. I, if they have it potentially ready, then you know this could we could get all this sorted out by the end of October, and then um, we, we get all of it sorted out by the end of October, and then they could still launch it in December kind of thing. But I think if they wait, and then we don't have a chance to talk about it on a town hall, meaning that they wait until November, it just it just seems like we need to get some clarity on this one way or another, especially with conflicts coming to an end uh, at the end of this week. And then, of course, you know, we're all looking forward to whenever the next main set might be. If rebel, sorry, conflicts coming to an end, and of course, rebellion being sold out in uh, in mid December. So I think just having some clarity on what what direction we're going is going to be a, a big question for this month's town hall. Uh, number two, uh, I think any anybody will, will say that this probably should have been number one, but we, I'm sure everybody would like some kind of new player experience progress. That's something that's been asked for a while. It's always been nebulous, and I kind of feel cheap putting it on here just because it's something that we've been continuing to ask for a while, but it remains a big question, right? It remains a big question primarily because, uh, you know, on the second half of this, the mar on the marketing side of things, I think many of us thought, you know, early on in the year, New player experience was going to take six months. In the second half of the year, like July onwards, we would start getting the marketing ramping up. Then they said that, you know, we're really trying to finish new player experience by uh, the end of Q3, which was the end of September, right? So we're squarely in Q4. We thought the marketing would start. So hopefully getting some kind of update on where they're at with that. And, I, you know, at this point, 
I've heard a lot of uh, arguments for like we should we should not wait until the marketing start. Uh, we should not do any marketing until the next set actually launches, which again is an interesting idea, uh, and I'm not necessarily opposed to that. But just hearing what the team's game plan overall is, and that kind of goes in with where you know the the first set of the or the first question of this is right. So core set versus mini set and all that. Um, so, you know, getting an update on the progress, getting an idea of when that'll be done. And then in conjunction with that, when marketing would actually begin. And if they just say like, Hey, you know what, we're, we're going to hold off on marketing. There's still a lot of new player experience stuff to be done. We're, we're thinking about doing the core set, you know, either at the middle of the year or next year. And we're going to do marketing to uh, lead up to the core set, or we're going to do marketing once the core set comes out. Right. Like all these things are, are questions that I think obviously the, everything's interrelated here, but um, that's the kind of clarity I'm hoping that we can get from this town hall. And then the last one are glamour updates. Uh, if you if you missed it, there were some cool you know Halloween skins that the team just put out for several different cards. I thought that that was kind of awesome. So it's great that the team is able to put that out there and you know just just to be festive. Like it's the little things like that that really do add up and make it feel just like a game immersive experience, right? It's just it's just fun. And so uh, you know in conjunction with that, where are they on the glamour updates? Because in the last town hall though they did not say 2024, the general consensus was they wanted to get it out in a couple of months, right? So from September, I don't know, I, I've always thought couple means two to three, meaning that we would get it out like November, December-ish. And considering that land got pushed to next year, uh, you know, there's a debate on the mini set and core set. If that gets either, uh, not canceled, but if we don't end up not doing the mini set this year, uh, then, you know, the core set would be sometime next year. Really, the only thing, major thing that they could launch by the end of the year outside of new player experience, of course, is the Glamour updates. And that's why I think they gave us that time frame for it of uh, next, not next year, but uh, next couple of months. So my hope is that we do get to see that. Uh, my hope is that we do get to see that at some point in 2024 and getting some updates on how that's all going to work and when the you know the potential release time frame, if it's updated, right, rather than a couple of months, like, hey, we're shooting to get this out by by the end of 2024. Like if we can get if we can get clarification on that, again, not that, you know, if, if they say it's it's coming 2025, that's fine. I mean, everybody's going to be sad and, you know, upset about it. But at least if we can get some clarification so we know what to expect between now and the end of the year. And the reason I think that's important is because there's a lot of other things going on uh, primarily the Hall of Legends promo, as well as the end of the Rebellion sale. And if people are thinking like, well, if I'm saving up for Glamour and it's not going to come through, then maybe I go in on some of these Hall of Legends cards. Maybe I go in on, uh, you know, some more Rebellion packs or whatever the case is, right? If we know what to expect and kind of when to expect it for people that are looking to spend money and, um, you know, just participate in the game further. Again, not not investment advice, not financial advice, but people that just want to spend their 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 uh, their entertainment budget dollars in a, in, in a way, right? Like we know land is not coming until next year. If we know glamour isn't coming till next year, well then maybe you know over the next three months people decide that they want to get uh, some of these cards. So. Uh, those are my three biggest questions. Hopefully, uh, this was, hopefully we do get them answered, right? And uh, as I said at the beginning of the video, let me know if this is a format that you want me to continue whenever we have town halls, uh, you know, should be should be once a month, usually on the third Thursday of the month is what they've been doing. I don't see that changing anytime soon, but uh, that is that is where I'm at. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know your, also, uh, also let me know your biggest questions. What are the things that you guys are asking? What are the like burning topics that you hope that the team discusses? Um, and, you know, hopefully if we get a good list here and uh, some solid folks that are able to attend it live. We'll have some fun with that. So that's all I got for you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'll catch you all in the next one and see you around the game. Take care.